Rex from Michel is there live with an update. Rex. Men should heavy rains two hours ago here in the Manila North Cemetery forced visitors to go home earlier than planned. Despite the warning by Weather Bureau Pagasa of a rainy All Saints Day, most of the visitors did not bring umbrellas. So for those who are planning to go here later or tomorrow, wear some covered shoes if not a pair of boots. As of 9 p.m. Menchu, the Manila police estimates the volume of visitors inside the cemetery is down to only 300,000. But the crowd is still expected to reach hundreds of thousands tomorrow and may possibly land to a million. Be advised that the main gates of the cemetery are still closed for all types of vehicles until Sunday. Manila police have maintained tight security as 749 volunteers and 228 police forces secured the cemetery today. Menchu, as of 7 p.m., most of the confiscated items have been returned to their owners. Only 15 flammable materials and 19 bladed weapons remain at the outpost. Menchu. Thank you. Rex Ramisha reporting live from the Manila North Cemetery. Now, some people receive medical aid or are rushed to hospitals as, as crowds flock to cemeteries. Meantime, a woman who has built her home inside a cemetery tells of tricks other dwellers do on tombstones. Miguel Ortilia has that story. Ambulances rushing, children and the elderly falling ill, and in the height of the heat, some people collapsing. These are the scenes when over a million people are cramped in one area under extreme heat. Malaki, malaki, no? malaki ang kinalaman ng ating environment at saka yung sobrang init na ating nadarama. No? Tapos nasasabayan pa ng sobrang dami ng mga dumarating na tao. Emergency responders attended to 237 patients throughout the day. Three had to be rushed to nearby hospitals. One of them is 68-year-old Vicente Moral. Medics had to search his ID cards for his emergency contact information. Manila North Cemetery is the biggest burial facility in Metro Manila. Spanning 54 hectares with 500,000 graves and over 2 million buried. Though the facility's security and urinal facilities are far better now, the cemetery is a forlorn place for the dead let alone the living. Rachel Diaz's home is a shanty built inside the cemetery. She's been living with the dead her whole life, and she is not about to leave the comforts of home. Now she has her own family. Most cemetery dwellers are tomb caretakers, and some are known to pull a trick or two on the dead. It was not enough that the granite tombstone was replaced with one of lesser value. Monico in the original engraving was changed to Monica. The cemetery management says incidents like these are not tolerated. But those are bold words coming from clueless caretakers. Miguel Ortilia, Sora News. More people are still flocking to the Manila South Cemetery even at night, but authorities say the crowd inside is down to 10,000. Joyce Elas reports to us live from the Manila South Cemetery with more. Joyce? Midnight, several people are still arriving here at the, the uh, Manila South Cemetery where around 400 deceased are buried. It is, however, evident that as of now, the uh, number of people inside the cemetery has already significantly decreased. As of now, the Philippine National Police estimates the crowd inside the cemetery at around 10,000. 